How you doing? My name's Bill. I'm the skipper on the Polaris 2. This is our crewman Phil. Come and have a bit of an easy. We'll show you what's happening today. And well, this is our uh, after accommodation. This is where we uh, have all our students and uh, visiting academics and our academic staff come and stay down here. We've got a bit of space they can sit out and um, get a few bean bags lie around and uh, put uh, a bit of a presentation up on the screen. So we've got a couple of uh, cabins here which are um, a little bit confined but enough uh, enough space for, uh, for, for people to get in there and have their own wee bit of a space and then we could quite comfortably sleep um, sleep a, a, about 14 is a good comfortable number when we're getting away on a trip so you know of a night and that they can get down here and watch dvds or watch a movie and uh, it just gives them a bit of space so now we'll head on out uh, off out the back here where we've got a storage area and uh, where we keep our freezers and stuff we have uh, a couple of uh, 22 cubic foot freezers that we um, store all our frozen samples in one and our food and stuff in another Compressor for working the air equipment on the deck. We've got a water maker, about three and a half thousand litres of fresh water. But um, when you get away and you're doing a lot of diving, we go through quite a bit of water with people having showers all the time. So we managed to make water, we can make 120 litres an hour if the filters and everything are all clean. So this has been a very handy piece of kit putting on uh, for down around the sub Antarctic Islands as it's. Um, Hard to get ashore or hard to get good clean water. Go for it. So the uh, the high ebb was one of the um, one of our early acquisitions. We uh, we used to just have a small um, small crane with a with a Jolson on it for uh, they used for lifting heavy fish and stuff aboard. Um, we got rid of that and put the high ebb on. Uh, we use it for unloading and loading all our heavy equipment. We use it for uh, deploying um, the equipment, as you can see here. Uh, we use it for lifting all our dredges and grab something gear around. Um, it's got uh, it's got an eight and a half meter extension or reach, and um, it'll lift three ton right in at the side of the boat. So this is our main winch, um, two thousand meters of wire on here. So this is what we use for doing all our all our dredging and um, piston coring, uh, heavy grab sampling. Uh, so what we do is we um, we hook the gear on, we can swap it around reasonably quickly and. Uh, and uh, drop it over the side and use the high ebb for, for lifting everything around. Alrighty, so uh, this is our galley area and uh, basically the galley was the, is the same as it was when we, when we, when we got the vessel. Um, we made an alteration at the other side there, the toilet and shower and hot water cylinder was in there which we ripped out just to give us more seating room for students. So uh, we've had, um, we've had uh, crews on here uh, that have been on there for the day trips of 20 odd students and they all managed to battle over the microwave in the oven and uh, managed to knock themselves up a feed so uh, it gets quite busy at times but uh, we're pretty well self-contained and uh, we haven't had anyone starve yet so <laughs> yeah it's been no problem with that so yeah alrighty so um, it's a basic uh, look around the vessel um, for me, I'm the uh, skipper on the Polaris too, and uh, I probably should get away back to work. So uh, thanks for coming aboard. Yeah. Alrighty, cheers.